Okay. We have uh, Therapeutics in Viral Disease by Dr. Garvita. Uh, good morning all. <clears throat> Sorry. Good morning all. I am presenting the Therapeutics of Viral Disease, the old and new. Beginning from the history of the viral keratitis, the fir, uh, sorry, the viral uh, therapeutics, in the year 1959, Dr. William Prusoff developed idoxyrudine as a potential anti-cancer agent. How it the method of the, of the mechanism of action involved blocking of the DNA synthesis. It was too toxic as a systemic agent. However, it proved to be a good topical treatment against the DNA virus, which is the herpes simplex virus. Hence, in the year 1962, it was marketed to be the first treatment of choice for herpes simplex keratitis. However, it was associated with toxicity, superficial punctate keratopathy, chemical conjunctivitis, punctal occlusion, uh, occasional serious hypersensitivity reactions. It was unable to penetrate the corneal epithelium or to treat the stromal and endothelial keratitis. Therefore, gradually over a period of time, multiple drugs, especially acyclovir, was developed in the year 1982. The multiple regimens available are topical and oral uh, antivirals, which I will explain. First topical antiviral was acyclovir, available as 3% ointment given 5 times a day for 7 days, then 3 times a day for the next 7 days. Specific for viral infected cells only, however, it was not available in US and the resistance uh, may be increasing by 10% in immunocompromised patients as per the literature. Systemic acyclovir in the dose of 400 microgram orally 5 times a day for 7 to 10 days. It is as effective as topical acyclovir and toxicity is rare but it in, uh, includes normal systemic functions like uh, uh, kidney and liver functions. Topical gancyclovir available as 0.15% uh, so given 5 times daily till the ulcer is healed then 3 times a day for the next 7 days. It's increasing usage in US and Europe, but not in India. Topical trifluoridine available as 1% solution 4 to uh, 8 times a day. It's the first line therapy in US as effective as topical acyclovir. Topical idoxyuridine, uh, it, is, it was the first topical antiviral, but not in the first choice at present. Oral antiviral require a, a good renal function and always go for a baseline LFT test before the therapy started, especially with acyclovir. Uh, RAA gel is a topical 3% ointment. It has been withdrawn from the US and UK market, but available in developing countries. Herpes simplex stromal keratitis requires topical acyclovir, systemic acyclovir, and uh, topical trifluoridine. This is always in addition with topical corticosteroids. Acyclovir 3% ointment, similarly, uh, systemic acyclovir 400 mg orally 5 times a day for 10 weeks and topical trifluoridine 1% 4 to 8 times a day for the 3 weeks. Profile access treatment after the HEDS2 trial, systemic and acyclovir was proven to be useful for profile access. Acyclovir 400 mg orally twice a day. Antiviral uh, treatments for herpes zoster are uh, extensive Sym uh, systemic acyclovir given 800 milligrams five times a day for seven days in detail if we go about it the non-ocular involvement at onset treatment must be started at 72 hours after the onset in order to limit the infection topical acyclovir is three percent ointment five to times a day for seven days and then twice a day till the dendrites are resolved topical gancyclovir 0.15 percent till the ulcer is healed then uh, reduce. Systemic valcyclovir is 1 gram orally t uh, TDS for 7 days. Systemic famcyclovir 500 orally 3 times a day for 7 days. It is potentially better than acyclovir in reducing acute pain of the herpes zoster. Adenoviral infection, there is no licensed antiviral against the adenoviral infection. As per few literature reports, there was a uh, RCT trial of povidone iodine 0.6% with dexamethasone. But of course, this was only a 12-day study and uh, the, it's not commercially available. So this is not ex exactly encouraged and studies are required. 
viral metaherpetic metaherpetic keratitis requires surface support more than antivirals there we need first elimination of toxic medications followed by punctal occlusion tear supplements bandage contact lenses autologous serum tears amniotic membrane grafts cautious use of topical steroids posterior segment viral infections treatment has been extensively uh, discussed with my colleague dr anuja so the key points that should be taken care of when we start the therapy in viral keratitis are uh, firstly viral cyclovir gan cyclovir became available after the heads2 trial they are more efficacious and less toxic though they are encouraged second topical antivirals currently available uh, and oral antivirals the most effective at present are acyclovir van cyclovir and fam cyclovir profile access with oral antivirals is suggestive in patients with hsv keratitis especially if they go for a refractive surgery or a cataract surgery also the use of steroids in uh, viral keratitis it has both pros and cons the advantages are inhibition of cellular response limitation of opacification scarring inhibition of neovascularization but it has uh, cons like uh, viral it can stimulate viral replication it can cause corneal thinning steroid induced glaucoma or even cataracts hsv can lead to latency and recurrent disease in the nerve endings there is at present no treatment for latent infection only when it goes into active states only then we can treat the patient there is an ongoing research of subcutaneous administration of heat activated hsv against the antigens however it's uh, very limited and not uh, not much more studies are required in this area so that's